What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another eBay video. If you guys are new to the channel, I am a Canadian eBay reseller and I've been doing this not really full time, but a lot more and selling a lot more items since November of last year. And now it's been this long and I do have a lot of inventory and I've been selling a lot more. So now I do make a lot of these videos sharing not only my recent eBay sales, but things that I've picked up and things to be on the lookout for if you are a new eBay reseller or if you just wanna see what else has been selling on eBay. I do talk about a lot of that on my channel as well with my eBay and flipping for profit series. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my most recent eBay sales, kind of break down the profit and what I paid for the items and talking about that a little bit more in depth. So let's get right into this. So over the last few days, I've been selling a lot more on eBay. Today, I shipped out six video games and a couple days ago, I did ship other things as well. So the first item a couple days ago that I sold is Lord of the Rings Trilogy extended edition. I picked up these three movies at a thrift store for $12. They were selling them for $4 each. So for all of it was $12. And I did sell it for full ask and price of $30 plus shipping. This equaled out to be a profit of $22, which I felt was amazing. $22 profits. Each movie came with four discs because it's the extended versions. And just by looking at it, I thought I'd be able to sell them because they looked brand new. And Lord of the Rings is still something that is still a hot item that people do like if they're fans of that franchise. Of course, I looked up sold comps and it turned out to be worth it at $22 profits for all three movies. The rest of the items that are gonna be talking about in this video are video games that I sold on eBay. Now, most of the time, that is my niche. I do sell mostly video games and consoles on eBay because that's what sells the most for me. And that's the most valuable items that I can find at low prices locally and sell them for profit on eBay. So that's what I usually stick with. Now, all these video games, for the most part, I don't know how much it costs to acquire because I did purchase them in video game lots. So likely is around a dollar to $2 maybe is how much it cost me, but I don't break it down like that for them because I did purchase them part of a lot. So the first game is a PlayStation 3 game called Dead to Rights. This one here was shipping to the United States, so it cost $10 to ship. This game here received $18 profit when I minus fees and shipping, which I thought was great. The next game is also for the PlayStation 3 and I also purchased it from a lot. That is the Cursed Crusade. This one here I received after fees, $14 profit. It was also shipping to the United States, which again cost $10 to ship. The next game is the last Nintendo 3DS game that I had from the lot I purchased a while back and that is Pokemon X. This game here roughly was about $35 profit whenever I sold it and it was included in that lot a while back with the Nintendo 3DS limited edition and the three games that I had. The next two games are low end games that I just put on auction and they just received the starting bid but still received profits and that is PlayStation 3 Diablo and the other game is for also for the PlayStation 3 Lego Indiana Jones. Both these games received $5 profit each whenever I take into account I have them on auction and there is eBay fees and shipping. I still made $5 each game profit, which I thought was amazing because they're games that I thought would be hard to get rid of or that I have to bundle with the console eventually. And I did put them on auction and they did sell and I made $5 profit each. So at least I know some of the lower end games, if they're not games that I can sell and they're not gonna make much money, put them on auction, see if somebody bids a starting bid, even if it's a couple bucks, and see if I can make some of my profit that way. So both these games I felt were very good. And then today, the last game that I'm gonna be talking about in this video sold, and that is for the PlayStation 3 Resistance 3. This one here I received $12 profit for this game. Again, I wish some of the games I could break it down and tell you guys what I paid for it, but they're all part of lots that I purchased, so I usually just, add everything up and then put that into that lot to see what profit I made. And so far I've made some pretty decent profits on each of the lots. I still have some of the PlayStation 3s left, the actual consoles to sell, but now that I've been selling a lot of the video games and making back a lot of my money that I spent on the entire lots, now I can reduce some of my prices on the actual consoles and still make some decent money on them as well. So selling on eBay at times can be very, very difficult, but for me, 
Focusing now on mainly video games, I've been selling a lot more because a lot more people, especially because of COVID, a lot more people are at home, a lot more people are collecting, a lot more people are gaming, and that is benefiting me whenever I can purchase these video game bots for cheap. Normally, I will pay anywhere between $80 to $175 to acquire a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 lots, depending on what it includes and what video games. Most of the time, I'll look up all the video games or now that I've been doing it for a while, I know, of course, sports games, they're on the low ends. I try to avoid them. And I look up and I can see, just by looking, what games are likely gonna be profitable. And then I look up sold comps for those. Sometimes I've received games that are selling on eBay between 30 to $40. Sometimes I've received ones that are 60 to $80, sometimes more, that are included in the lot. So those lots, usually I'll pay anywhere between 150 to 175 but it depends on how many video games are included what's included and how many gigabytes the console is and that's what i focus on the most and i've been getting a lot more sales because i've been focusing on video games lately which means in the future i'm going to be doing more video game hunting and bringing you guys along with that i do have another guy that we've negotiated price he has an nes and a ton of nes games most of them are going to sell between 20 to 30 dollars some are 60 dollars and then there's some sports games that are around five dollars each but we negotiated a price of 400 dollars i'll share with you guys that in the future if i do end up purchasing it it's just i have to try to sell some of my inventory first and he's more than okay to wait a couple weeks but i want to make sure i can sell some of my already inventory everything that i have in stock and then acquire about this. So if I do purchase it, you guys will see a video in the future of me sharing everything that I included in that lot. And yes, it is $400 more than I've spent on any video game lots, but I priced everything out, looked up sold comps, and I'm gonna at least double my money there, which I'm really excited about. So I'll share that with you in the future if I do purchase it. I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little breakdown of my recent sales, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.